You finally managed to save enough money to buy that gaming PC. But which gaming PC do you get? And which CPU gives you the most gaming performance? You read tons of reviews and watched tons of benchmark videos, but are still not quite sure on what to get. Welcome back to the Invader PC Studio, and today we'll be joined with our friend Marvelous on why the 5800X 3D is the fastest gaming PC and if there's any pros and cons to it. Hi guys, this is Mel and uh, it's my first time here. Welcome back to the Invader PC Studio Mel. Definitely your first time here. Definitely didn't help us with our previous projects like this. This, this, over this. Not me. Yeah, definitely not her. This, which also can explain why that other person looks cooler as well. Uh. Okay, but all jokes aside, today we'll be taking a look at AMD's fastest gaming CPU, the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D. Gotta go fast! So today, we'll be taking a look at some of its base specs and also its properties to see what makes this CPU so special, especially compared to that of its previous brethren. Okay. So if you take a look at both the spec sheet of the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D versus its predecessor, the Ryzen 7 5800X, you can see that in terms of spec sheet, they are more or less identically the same, apart from two major portions. Ah, I know, I know. I know. Oh, okay, which one, which one? Uh, the speed. The clock speed. Not wrong, not wrong. Yes. Okay, but which one is the one with the faster clock speed? This one you tell them. Ah. What's this? <laughs> okay, so surprisingly, right, the 5800X 3D actually has a slower clock speed. Oh! Yeah, but the thing is, it actually mixes up with it with AMD's 3D V cache, as you can see with its level 3 cache. So the 3D V cache itself allows it to use AMD's new technology to layer the V cache in such a way that it has more performance. So oh, Joe, how does this affect people like me who is looking to buy a new PC? That's actually a very good question. Mm -hmm. So today, we'll be answering that question with this system right here. Mm -hmm. Can I? Go for it. Let's go! And we're back! So, in order to push the 5800X 3D through its paces, we will be running a series of tests in order to push it to its limit. So, the first test we'll be running will be a CPU synthetic workload, and next we will be running... Gaming. That's right. So, for our CPU synthetic workload, we'll be running Cinebench R23, both single core and multi core, followed up by 3D Mark. And as for gaming... We will be playing... Horza... Horza... <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Forza Horizon 5. That's right. Mm. So without further ado, let's get started. We're back from testing. And as you can see, the see, results... See what? See what? Oh, it's not... Okay, no worries. You'll see in post. But essentially, we can see that the 5800X 3D doesn't exactly perform at its highest, especially when we take a look at things like Cinebench R23 mm -hmm. and even 3D Mark. But... If you take a look at gaming testing, this will be where it will really shine. So for our game testing, we will be heading to Forza Horizon 5 and we will take Mel's first impressions, especially since previously, Mel, or not Mel, not Mel. actually helped us with a video where we use a 6750 XT with the 5600. Alright, now let's get started. Let's go. We're back from our game testing. Yes. So how is it now to play Forza Horizon 5 with mouse and keyboard? Easy. I can even drive backwards, no problem. I'm guessing buying folder upside down also can, but. Can, can is can. Okay, so how well you tell how was it? Mm. How was playing with Forza with the system itself, especially considering it houses the AMD 5800X 3D? It was uh, very smooth for me. I would say I was uh, playing at a 4K Rezo and I was noticing the frame rates. FPS, I think it was running out. 230 FPS. Oh, that's pretty high. That's pretty high. And yeah. uh, there were times where it dipped down a little bit more, but even so, 130 or so, uh, during the parts where I was like maybe traversing through like, you know, water and stuff like that, more effects. Uh, but high. overall, no, no lag or anything was a really, really fun experience for me. Mm. Well, that's good to hear because mm. 
to add on to that, we were actually running the game at native 4K mm. without FSR from AMD. But one of the main reasons why we were able to get that amount of performance, especially on native 4K, is because the system that we were using was running AMD's latest and greatest graphic card, the Radeon RX 6950 XT. So from this whole experiment with now especially, we can actually conclude a few things. Number one, the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X 3D is definitely a very fast CPU, if not the fastest CPU in the market so far. But the thing to consider is that it's only part of the equation itself. Mm -hmm. Because without a GPU like the 6950XT that we were using, we would definitely not be able to utilize and get frame rates just like this. But that does not mean that the 5800X 3D is a bad CPU. Mm -hmm. In fact, I would say there's three major benefits for using this CPU, especially compared to its competitors. Mm -hmm. Number one, it is actually very power efficient, especially for the performance that it's giving. If you're only going for game, the power efficiency is really, really high. Number two is that it runs significantly cooler compared to its competitors. And last but not least, if you are looking for an upgrade, especially if you're using Ryzen 2nd or 3rd gen and you're still using the AM4 platform, the 5800 x 3 d will give you a substantial performance increase, especially for the next few years. Mm. What he said. Yes. <laughs> so, Joe. <laughs> Let's talk about that PC over there. I can't help but notice it looks very different from the PC that we were, you know, talking about in the last video. Oh wait, oh, oh, I'm, I'm here for the first time, right? Ah, you, you heard it here. Oh, okay. Now, now she admit. Okay. Uh, so yes. I'm glad you asked about that PC. <laughs> mm. So this PC right here is actually something that one of our customers actually wanted to customize themselves. Oh. So we actually do more than just team systems like what we did previously. The so pink one. Uh. Yeah, your favorite color. Very nice. Mm. Yeah, very nice. So <laughs> we actually start to dwell more into customized systems as well. So if you want to know more about systems just like this, make sure to check out our website invaderpc.com or leave us a message and let us know what kind of system you are looking for and we'll be able to cater for you. Awesome. Remember to follow Invader's socials also, guys. Yep, socials will be down in the description box down below. That's right. Yeah, last but not least, we'd like to thank Mel for actually dropping by and helping us do this video as well. Thank you for having Her me. first video. Oh, yes, yes, first video. Yeah, first video. Of course. You know? <laughs> and let us know in the comment section down below what do you want to see for our next video. Yes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And also, a quick shout out to AMD for letting us do this video as well. Thank Especially you. taking a hands-on with the 5800X 3D. Yeah! Before I forget, make sure to follow Mel in all her socials down in the description box down below. Hi guys! And make sure to check out previous video where we worked with Mel in her before first video where we took a chance to take a look at AMD's 5600 together with the 6750 XT. And with that guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys! Peace!